I got it, guys. The freedom letter is here. I call it a freedom letter, which is the letter I'll read it for you. Dear Lionel Nyamwache, which is my name, we would like to congratulate you that your application for British citizen has been approved. To become a British citizen, you must attend a citizenship ceremony within three months, which the ceremony is today at 2 p.m. And I can't wait to show you guys what's, what's like inside. Now I've been there myself. It's the first time doing it. I don't think you do it twice. So yeah, I'm, I can't wait to be there. I call it Freedom Letter because it's been a long, hard process, process to get here. But we have to apply the first time to get to into the country. First time from Mozambique to here. Second time to renew. Two and a half renewal. And then two and a half renewal. And then I think it's four, this is the fourth time, and every time it costs money and mental stress. So now it, this, is the, this is it, this is the end of it. After, been to, after the ceremony, there's not going to be any more migration stress, let's say. And what, one of the reasons I call it Freedom Let is because when I went home, when I come back to the UK, my passport has been checked like I was coming for the first time, let's say, and even though I'd have my visa permit, I have to be checked. And then wait in the, you know, in a separate room to check so I can check my passport. You know, those experiences has been a bit I know it's their job, I understand it's it's the immigration job to, to make sure everyone get here legally and stuff. But I had already my my visa permit. And uh, going back two thousand eighteen, I think we were going to celebrate my wife's birthday in Fuerte Ventura, Ventura uh, Spanish island. That was another experience. Although I got in but I had my biometric visa. We had to take risk. I think we applied for the visa. I don't know if I got the visa or not. I didn't get the visa or something. But we had to just go and see what's going to happen. And I opened it on the gate. We bought the flight. And I didn't need the visa at the end because I had my biometric. But that is just another experience. I could have turned back off. They could have told me, no, you can't get a can into And I just leave my family go and then go back home or come back home. But with this passport, things are going to be different. It's going to be completely different. Oh, this citizenship and then it's going to be a passport. Next. The experience is going to be completely different. Uh, even though it wasn't the aim in moving to the UK, the aim was to start a family with my wife, having kids and stuff. This is like a byproduct of being here in the country. And uh, the mental stress and financial stress it caused was, was, was a lot. But now it's, it's over. It's time to celebrate. I was always going to take you guys to celebrate with me and share this good news. And now we're going to go to the ceremony together. Hopefully, I think we are allowed to be filmed some part of it in there and you can see what's about. So come with us. Let's celebrate. Leo is a British. He's also a British citizen. I won't just say Leo is a British citizen because I'm Mozambican from the heart. Now it's not going to die. I'm keeping my dual. I'm keeping my Mozambican. Mozambican nationality, that's it. And then also a British citizen. Because yes, um, Mozambique from the heart, it never change. Let's go. Freedom letter! <laughs> and yes, we are allowed to film the whole ceremony. So you guys will be able to see what the room looks like and what it's all about. If you haven't seen it before, or haven't been there before. And so here it is. So going to be some affirmation and national anthem be played in the room so enjoy see my kids there all oh, happy to see papa become a british citizen <laughs> And the children being at our ceremony where well, I'm going to ask you to swear the oath of allegiance to his majesty the king and then we'll pause please repeat and you will pledge your loyalty to the United Kingdom artists. So yes please, if you would please start by saying I and your full name. I, Lionel Tsimiyamate. Swear by Almighty God. Swear by Almighty God. That on becoming. That on becoming. A British citizen. A British citizen. I will be faithful. I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To His Majesty King Charles III. To His Majesty King Charles III. His heirs and successors. His heirs and successors. According to law. According to law. Thank you very much. And now we're going to do the Pledge of Commitment. If you could please repeat a few words of time after me. I will give my loyalty. 
I will give my loyalty to the United Kingdom, to the United Kingdom, and respect its rights and freedoms, and respect its rights and freedoms. I will uphold its democratic values. I will uphold its democratic values. I will observe its laws faithfully. I will observe its laws faithfully. And fulfill my duties and obligations. And fulfill my duties and obligations. As a British citizen. As a British citizen. Thank you. On behalf of His Majesty the King, Parliament, and people of the United Kingdom, I welcome you into British citizenship and the King community. Many congratulations. Thank you. Oh, yeah. we can bake, bake some scones for that. that. Yeah. So congratulations yeah. to you, Lina. Thank you. That's your one thing. Yes. Yep. And complimentary jar of chocolate that come in handy with baking. If we all work together as citizens of Kent, we can continue to make this county a friendly, safe and rewarding place that we can all be proud of. So we're going to play the national anthem. Uh, are you able to? You are. You're feeding still. If you yep. want to um, stand up and hold. Oh your yeah. Hand. Right. Okay. So that is the end, and um, so when you came into the room today, you were an individual from a different nation, and now because you have joined us, we are all fellow members of one greater British nation. So congratulations, that's the end, you're a British citizen. Thank yes, you. we will let the Home Office know that you have attended, and um, and I presume that they might need to know the number or something when you applied it, but it's all in the package. Should tell you what to do. Okay. Now then, would you all like to stand up? Well, you weren't looking then, Lynn. I'm saying there.